Welcome back everybody. So this is the first video in a series of videos about the settlement of Australia, the European settlement of Australia. So we're going to look at convict transportation and other types of European migration and the expansion and settlement of the Australian European community. Today we're going to start with the question, how did the Industrial Revolution impact on convict transportation? So we know that there are many factors that influence why someone might choose to uh, move to Australia or move anywhere and so today we're going to focus on the impact of the Industrial Revolution on convict transportation. So the Industrial Revolution was a time of rapid change particularly in England and the City of London. So we know that new technology was created that reduced the need for manual labour and as that new technology was created, it actually reduced the need for manual labour and therefore the levels of unemployment rose significantly. So they had created machines that could do the work of 50 people. And so because of this, levels of unemployment rose significantly. Now, this higher level of unemployment resulted in desperate people turning to crime. So lots of people had no jobs and there was no hope of getting another job. So they were desperate enough to feed their families and get the things that they needed to survive that they had to turn to crime. And there was more problems because of the Industrial Revolution. People moved from farming and agricultural regions to urban areas and cities and um, competition for jobs increased even more so it meant that so many people could not find work. Another problem with the uh, early industrial revolution and this time period is that other than charities there was no support to help poor people and people um, who were unemployed so of course we know today we have various government systems that help people who are unemployed and do not have a lot of the things that they need but during this time period other than charities there was no official support for those who could not get the things that they needed to survive so many people had to turn to crime because of the unemployment caused by the industrial revolution. The Industrial Revolution brought about changes to crime and punishment. Because there was this increase of people committing offences, there needed to be changes to the crime and punishment system in England. And due to the unemployment and poverty, crime increased during the 1700s. So in an attempt to halt the crime wave, the British government made more offences punishable by death. So at the beginning of the 1700s, you could only be sentenced to death for treason and murder. Then when the crime wave came about because of the Industrial Revolution and rising levels of unemployment and poverty, the British government changed their mind and tried to turn people away from crime by making more offences punishable by death. So by 1770, a person could be sentenced to death for over 160 different crimes, such as smuggling, theft and even cutting down trees in avenues or gardens. So the British government became highly desperate to halt the crime wave and to do that they made much harsher punishments for smaller crimes. However, to some judges and juries it did seem silly to punish someone to death for small things like petty theft, smuggling and cutting down trees in public avenues and parks. So death sentences were often not the choice of the judge and jury, so they were often reduced to transportation. So transportation is the British legal term that means a prison sentence that is served in exile overseas. So this was something that people would turn to, that judges would turn to, instead of punishing someone by death for a smaller crime. Another problem that increased the amount of transportation or sending someone to a convict colony like Australia was that prisons were overcrowded. So we know that a lot of crimes were being committed and they did not have big enough prisons to house all of the prisoners. They even turned to using old ships called hulks to hold prisoners. But these were not hygienic at all and were unsafe and had frequent riots. There was disease rife in these hulks and it was unsafe for uh, policemen and other prison workers to work there because of the, f of the frequent riots. 
So we have this problem that we don't have anywhere to put our prisoners. So transportation became a common sentence and sentences could range from seven years for petty theft to life in another country. So transportation was designed because its purpose was to isolate and remove the criminals from society. So similar to placing them into prison, they wanted to, them to remove them from the general population. So they wanted to isolate them and transportation was a solution. And it was meant to be a powerful deterrent to criminal behaviour. It was not easy to return from a, from a colony, okay, um, because... Tickets back home to England were very expensive and if you've been working as a prisoner or a convict for several years, you do not have the money to be able to purchase a ticket back home. So basically it was a sentence to live away from your family for the rest of your life. Now, Australia was chosen because the British government had several aims. They wanted to transport their convicts to a land far away from home so it was not easy for them to return to their family, so it was a deterrent. They wanted there to be good farming conditions to encourage self-sufficiency so that the colony did not become a, a, a drain on the British government. Now, they did attempt to establish an, a settlement in Africa, but that didn't work. They also, prior to this time period, had a colony, of course, in America, but after the American War of Independence, they were no longer able to send convicts to America, so they needed to find a new place, and New South Wales in Australia was chosen. New South Wales had another advantage because aside from a convict colony, it allowed for tra trade with China, and it also blocked their rivals France from settling Australia. So there were several reasons that Australia was chosen as the new place to transport convicts from Britain. So you can see that there are many reasons why Australia was a good place and you can see that the influence of the Industrial Revolution meant that convicts were sent to Australia because the Industrial Revolution increased, po uh, increased unemployment, which increased poverty, which increased crime and therefore the British government needed to send the criminals somewhere and Australia was that place.